here with my friend Eve Levine. How are you, Eve? I'm um, great, thank you. I just wanted to catch up with you. Not a lot of people, I mean, everybody knows your name. If people watch MMA, they know your name, but you know, they don't talk to you a lot. I just wanted to say hello. Hello to, to you. <laughs> Eve, how much fun do you have doing this job? It is fun because it's not a job. I'm an accountant, you know, I'm a CMA, so I do accounting during the week and I have a great hobby to be involved with MMA as a referee during the weekend. And what's the best part about it? Is it the people that you meet? Is it the excitement in the cage or is it all of it? It's being part of something bigger than just yourself. It's being part of a big team. You know, when, when it started, when I started refereeing a lot of years ago, you know, we were about what? hundred people were watching MMA and we were not doing that for you know at that time for money or fame or whatever and it was fun to be part of something that you love and be part of with other people so at the end of the day it's it's just being part of something bigger than just yourself whenever uh, I get to an MMA event I'll be honest, there's Eve Levine and there's Big John and there's people that you know is it kind of like a traveling circus to you not a circus, but you meet a lot of different people, you know, and it, it is fun at the end of the day. People recognize you and uh, they ask you for photo and things like that. I'm not really accustomed to that, but hey, it is flatter some way, but it's not a circle. Uh, I've seen you at, you know, big events like the UFC and little events in Gatineau. And, uh, what do you like better? What, what's, the, what's the good in each? It's about riffing. It's fight night. You know, it does, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter for me to, it is fun to ref at a UFC event. However, I like to do smaller event too, because you meet different people and it's the same job for me. It's just the crowd and that, that, that change, the, the size of the crowd. But it is, it is about riffing. It is about fight night and it's always fight, you know, fun at fight night. It, how much pressure is there? I mean, people see it, and you know guys are like, we'll, we'll see something happen, oh, that ref's an idiot, or whatever. I mean, do you feel that kind of pressure, or how much pressure is there being in there with two men? It, you feel a lot of pressure. You feel, you feel pressure because you don't want to f up their fight, basically. And, and you know how much, I do know how much they, those guys training, how much it is hard to make it a living out of that. And you really don't want to screw up their fight. So this is the pressure that you have. At UFC event, you know, this, they, are, they are more pressure, but the pressure is still there for smaller events. So yes, you do feel the pressure, but you really try your best. And I think as long as you're doing an honest job, and it's, by the way, it's, it's a lot easier to be a really good ref sitting in your couch watching TV with replay, slow motion, super slow motion commentator than being there and have just a fraction of a second to make a call. So, In, in thousands of fights, there must be one or two where you honestly thought, ah, I did f that up. Oh. And it must happen, right? How do you feel when that happens? You feel, you don't feel good. Like the one in Vancouver last year with the Minister Danzing and the women. I fucked it up, basically, and it is not fun because you know how much you know training they put. And I went to see both guys. We had a miscommunication, me and Mr. Uh, Danzing. I was looking for my thumbs up when I shook his hand to see if he was with us. I didn't get my thumbs up, so I, I thought he was out, and he was not, obviously. So, and you feel, you don't feel good about yourself. So I, I went, I talked to him after the fight, and I did apologize to screw up his fight. But there's, there's nothing that you can do when you make that decision. So it, it is done, so. And you know, and then there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other fights where guys have thanked you for, for doing a great job, right? Yes, but you don't see that on TV. No. No, you they, don't. They, they come, even when, you, when a lot of fans don't agree with stoppage or things like that, it happens a lot of times that fighter will take the time, come and see, say thank you Eve for stopping that fight. Uh, even if they play the crowd or whatever, say they were okay, they were not. And they, they, most of the time they do acknowledge that after the fact. But you know, at the end of the day, we're just ref. We're, we're, we're there, we're part of the team, but the star is the fighter. So it's about, it, it is about the fighter. So if they want to play the crowd or whatever, it, it is fine with me. But uh, hey, we have a good relation outside of the cage too.